Hey, it's Kevin. I'm here today to show you a video on my blind. Uh, this is actually a pretty good sized blind and I've been using it for years and uh, it's uh, pretty nice. I figure I'd share it with you guys. Out there is the old hunting blind we used to use and the wind cuts you like a knife out there so I decided I would build this blind. So I'll take you down around the bottom side and uh, show you a little bit talk to you a little bit about the blind now <clears throat> this blind actually we use the bottom down here to pull our four-wheelers in or whatever we're driving if we got a gator or something like that we'll pull it up inside there keeps it hidden now on the back side as you can see if I get back here we got solar panels up there and this, being that this tree, this blind has all time power in it, it has an alarm system too. Right there's the alarm. So if somebody tries to break in, uh, it sets off the alarm and uh, we definitely can hear it. So we'll do just a little walk around. As you can see, up there's our solar panels. Uh, wind is pretty much all the way around this corner here. We've got to do some work inside. That's why we don't have the wind is over there There's a the little balcony Now The steps are made a little bit steep They're a little bit steep, but they're better than climbing a ladder. So that's why we put the steps in We'd rather have the steps. All the lumber is rough cut treated lumber, so it should last us a while. We're gonna probably this summer maybe do some put some sealer on it, but all right. That was a look around the uh blind. Now we'll uh take you up inside and show you what it looks like. As I told you, the steps are a bit steep, so, but they're still better than walking up a ladder. This thing is about 22 feet off the ground total. There's the old doorknob. See, pretty good little doorknob. I like these. I don't know where I got them from, but they made nice doorknobs. So I put one inside, one outside. Now there's my latch. I built this out of some of the old rough cut lumber that uh, when I bought the lumber for the cat or the uh, blind and I just notched it on the right here and you got a nice lock looks pretty good too now uh, this blind does have electric you can turn the light on you have power uh, 110 I uh, have running water, which is just, uh, I usually have a tank up in here, uh, but I have it out now because it's getting cold weather and we don't keep heat in here all the time. And it's just gravity fed down out the spigot. Now this is an old pan I picked up somewhere. It's just an old pan. It's just sitting in there and I put a sink drain in the bottom of it. Drilled it out and put a sink drain. It don't leak. And it goes right on down outside to a leachy bed and then uh, we have our throne we have a composting commode we use sawdust we don't normally use that when we're all in here you know if you're in here by yourself it's not too bad now we have uh, a nice buck up here uh, as you can see we got some pots pans there to cook with now the curtain rods are just basically sticks. What we did, we just drilled a hole through them. Put our, this is a burlap. You can buy this in pretty much any store as a blind. And we sewed them. Actually, my wife sewed them up for me and made curtains out of them, which work real well in, the, in this blind. 
All the windows open and closed lock. We have a way to cook. And actually, I'm going to have a cup of coffee right now because I'm cold and thirsty. So, we have coffee. We're actually later this summer. We haven't decided yet. We have this stove. You see me redo this stove online. Uh, I actually have one with an oven. So, I may end up putting one in here with an oven. Um, but we don't know yet. We do have one uh, portable, you know, a small camping stove with an oven and everything. We may end up putting it in there. I think we're going to have to move a lot of this stuff around. We wanted to put the, the cooking, everything for our cooking back in that corner. Now the solar, I'm only running about 45 watts of solar in here. And uh, this is the... <clears throat> This is the kit I got from Harvard Freight, and it has two lights on it. These are low power lights, and we, you know, they, you don't have to have the inverter on it uh, for these lights to work. So they actually run off of 12 volt, which when we're in here, a lot of times we're running at 12 volt. And then I just have my, uh, put this little light here on, and I just have my, power inverter there my battery and uh, a little charging unit here looks like our batteries running low we can it won't take long to build it back up I've been in here for a little while so it's actually a pretty good little setup I'm getting older now and I get cold easy so you know in the other blind out there I was freezing to death and I told my wife, I said, I need something that I can take my kids, my grandchildren uh, hunting in. And, and I thought I'd build this thing. So we started building it. All the walls are actually six inches thick. These walls are six inch rough cut lumber. So they're, they're really thick walls. It's all insulated. The ceiling is insulated. It has baffles in the ceiling. Um, everything here, the floor is insulated. I think I got about nine inches of insulation in the floor. Uh, we're probably going to do something with this floor. It's it's actually rough cut two by sixes too. Uh, the whole floor is rough cut two by sixes. Um, I like the rough cut two by sixes, but they're so uneven, you know. And uh, I still think I'm getting a little bit of air up through them gaps in the floor. So I don't know if I'm going to lay something over it or not, but. Uh, Anyhow, I don't know what else. We have outlets all over the place. We got an outlet there. We got one down there. And actually, we got one up here. We was going to mount a like a small radio some type, you know. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the little uh, walk around in my blind. Um, you know, this thing's not only used for going hunting. You come out here just to get peace and quiet sometimes. It's actually a very nice little place. You look out the windows, you may see a squirrel, you may see a red-tailed hawk, you may see you may see turkeys, you may see deer, you may see fawn running around in the field out there. Um, it's the place where we make memories. As I said on the last video where me and my son went out and got a deer. And a lot of people may not understand that, but I guess, guess you have to be here to understand it. So I wanted to tell everybody thanks to, for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.